What's up guys? In this video, I want to discuss how to connect vMix and Microsoft Teams. It's a really awesome way to add new video production capabilities into your Microsoft Teams meetings. Let's talk about it after this. So what is vMix? Just for those folks who do not know, vMix is a video production software that allows you to mix together multiple video and audio sources, to live stream, to record, but also to have a virtual webcam output. And more and more, people are using video production software like OBS, Wirecast, and vMix to send great video into Microsoft Teams, Zoom, all of these setups. So I wanted to show vMix specifically with Microsoft Teams because you guys asked for it, which reminds me, please hit that subscribe button. So many people do not subscribe to our channel based on the viewer numbers that we see. And it'd really mean a lot if you did hit the subscribe button. You can unsubscribe later if you don't like our content. I think you're gonna find a lot of the stuff we produce helpful. Now this uh, right next to me is a complete wiring diagram of how to connect vMix and Teams. But I also wanted to give you a few ideas of why you might want to connect vMix and Teams. And the easiest way for me to show this to you, uh, well, there's a couple different ways. One is this is like my vMix setup right here. And you can see if it's the first time you've ever seen vMix, it maybe is a little complicated, but you have the ability to do like awesome overlays, animated overlays, mixing together multiple audio sources. There's virtual sets. There's countdown timers. There's so much that you can do with vMix and being able to bring NDI sources and all kinds of things like that into your Microsoft team meetings is going to be pretty awesome. Now, just quickly, you can add videos, DVDs, camera inputs, NDI sources on your local area network, live streams, streaming video. I mean, you can even do instant replay, uh, but pictures, PowerPoints, audio, uh, titles. And this is where you can do like overlays, lower thirds. You can even do countdown timers, which are pretty popular for like Teams meetings. So lots of stuff. You can even do virtual sets. And uh, there's so much more. Maybe I'll do a video on how to do virtual sets in Teams if that's something you guys want to see. But let's start with the um, just explaining how to do this. So I kind of think you guys understand why we would want to connect vMix and Teams to have audio files, video files, uh, overlays, timers, stingers, all this great stuff into Teams. That makes sense. So the easiest way would to be just to connect the video using the virtual webcam option inside of vMix. So if you follow along here, we've got the return video or the video from vMix is going to be used in Teams as the webcam source. That's the easy part. And if you just want to do that and that's all you need to do to get video from vMix into Teams, that's fine. You don't need to do all of this other advanced audio in and out and desktop capture stuff with Teams. The reason why you'd want to go any further, now I'm going to take you the complete way and have a complete blog post and step-by-step -step guide on how to do the complete integration with vMix and Teams, which I do all the time. But uh, the only reason why you'd want to have the audio coming in and out of vMix is because you can then to bring any audio from vMix, meaning video clips, vi audio adjustments. For example, this is my audio coming in right now that you're hearing. And one of the great things about vMix is that they have these plugins to enhance your audio. So these are like professional grade VST3 plugins that would be in like audio production studios. Just listen to my audio without these really quickly, without the noise suppression, without the uh, compression algorithm. Just listen to how much different my voice sounds without those. And then enabling them back, you get that robustness. We have the reduction of the noise in the room. And so you can do that for your video recordings of Teams meetings for far end participants, for your own audio. So the audio side, in my opinion, is a big deal. 
Not to mention that you can mix in video clips and background music and all that other stuff into your Teams meeting. So I'm going to show you how to bring your microphone's input of Teams, pump it through a virtual audio cable into Teams via vMix. And then if you'd like, you can actually capture and record your Teams meetings, meaning all the people in your Teams session, by taking the speaker output and bringing that into Teams as well. So that's how it's done. Take a snapshot. There's going to be a complete tutorial. Let's do it step by step right now. So the webcam portion. Basically, we go and we hit the external button inside of vMix. This is what they consider the external video output. And it basically powers the webcam source inside of Teams. Now you can go into the settings of vMix and you can kind of tweak the external output option. I would do 1280 by 720. I have it set to 1080 here, but I don't think that's really necessary. I would just do 1280 by 720 for most scenarios. Um, I don't think you really need to do anything else for that. Now, when we talk about connecting it here, you can see that my camera source is vMix video because as soon as you have the external source enabled in vMix, it'll show up as vMix video and you can connect it as your camera. So that may be all that you need to do. Uh, you can just pump video in, leave your speaker and microphone set up the way it is, and you're done. A lot of people have trouble with this next part, but I do. it does work. And I think if you're interested in sending full audio and video and all of the virtual studio plugins and things of that nature uh, to enhance the audio of your Teams meetings, you can keep coming with me, keep going forward, or you could just stop here and just say, hey, that's cool. I've got lower thirds. I've got all this functionality in my video going to Teams and I'm done. So find out where you are in your technical skill level and just stop here. It's not a big deal. But if you'd like to add the audio side of it, you're going to need two virtual audio cables. And I will put the link below. They come from a company called VB Audio. And when you get those virtual audio cables, you can essentially install them and you can start using them. So get those virtual audio cables. And the way that I'm going to show this is that virtual cable B will be the speaker inside of Teams. That means everyone from the far end, everyone in your Teams meetings will be coming through that virtual audio cable, which we will bring into vMix. And your microphone will be virtual audio cable A. And virtual audio cable A is what we are going to send audio from vMix into Teams. And there's reasons why we do that we'll talk about, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. So once you've set that up, you've configured your audio and your video. Now, the last thing you need to do is bring that audio from Teams into vMix. And this allows us to make those HD video recordings. We can live stream to up to three destinations, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, all these different spaces. But we would want that audio included in vMix into those live streams. Now, the audio side of it, if you're new to vMix, I want to explain this to you. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a secondary bus, an A bus is what we call it. So if you go into the audio settings of vMix, which we'll do here, um, we will go ahead and configure the A bus. So you can see here, there's like a whole, there's a master audio and an A audio. And every single audio input inside of vMix can be routed to any of your audio outputs. And I have an audio output just as A. It's the A audio output. So to set that up, we just go into settings here and we go to audio outputs. And then this will say none for you if you've never done this before. And you, you go ahead and hit the drop down of cable A. So that virtual cable A will be set up as our A bus. And then in the audio mixer, we can set up anything that we would like to be routed through to A, which is nice because you might want you know, you don't want the audio coming back from Teams to be routed, you know, back. Uh, you don't want the, the audio that's coming from your far end to go back to them because that would create an audio loop. You just want your microphone, maybe some video clips, again, maybe some 
background music, but you don't want everything that we talked about, you know, that you have, you know, capabilities to do to send to them. So that is how you connect vMix with Microsoft Teams. And there, I know you can use NDI to do it, but this is my preferred method. I find it easier, lower latency. You don't need to worry about the network. It's all on one computer. The final thing, which uh, is the desktop capture. So if you'd like to capture and mix the far end video, uh, you just do a desktop capture of or a window capture of Microsoft Teams, and you can bring that into your vMix production. And then is that's when things start getting interesting, and you can be creative. That is where you can start mixing together, you know, virtual sets. Um, I won't do that now, but if you'd like to see virtual sets with Microsoft Teams, let me know, and I can show that. Like you could show yourself, and then in a virtual television behind you, you could show the, your guests of your Microsoft Teams meetings. There's lots of things you can do. I hope that was helpful. Again, hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments below how you're using Microsoft Teams and vMix. We would love to hear about it. Thanks, guys. Bye.